Here's a real estate story about a closing that went wrong. The husband is selling a piece of rental property and they list it, they get it under contract. They come to the closing table and the husband does not want his wife to come and sign documents. Well, in this particular state, the wife has to sign documents stating that she is aware of it and agrees to it. Uh, different states have different laws, and even in these states, uh, a lot of times it may have something to do with when you bought the property, when you owned it, and when you got married. But the guy came in with his wife, and they sat down to sign the documents, and the first thing that the closing agent asked for is their driver's licenses. And the husband said, well, why do you need to see my driver's license? He said, well, I'm going to notarize your documents, and I have to verify that you are the person signing the documents. And the woman, the wife, looked very uncomfortable, and there was a long discussion about this. And he said, well, my wife didn't bring her driver's license. She didn't know she needed it. And this went back and forth for several minutes. And the wife was getting very upset. And turns out she's not the wife. She's the girlfriend. So this man was trying to commit fraud. He was trying to sell a piece of property, which he needed his wife's signature to sell it. So he was going to sell it without her knowledge, without her permission, and he was using his girlfriend to stand in as a proxy wife, which didn't fly. So when you come to a closing, bring your driver's license. They will want to see it.